In case you missed historic Ukraine campaigns, well, I've got United States War for Independence. Maybe the war itself isn't so hard in EU4, but we won't be held by any allies like France or Spain. And one of the main goals will be not only save this, but also expand West and grow our economy 5 or 6x in just 20 to 30 years. So fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the content. We are also about to hit 100k subscribers in the near future. I actually plan to do this before my daughter is born in just two months. So let me speed this up. And this way you can get notified about all the future content coming. All right, it's the American War of Independence. We have to defend our capital, so it shouldn't be hard, even though they have far more troops and far more ships than us. But this is across multiple countries, so it will not be that easy for them to unite and attack me together. Myself have 40k troops and <laughs> plenty of generals, as well as the ruler general. I'll use Tadeusz Kościuszko in this case, and our fleet is just gonna be prepared to try fighting with anyone. As for the guarantee form, we of course gonna take the American Republic, which gives us Congress itself. I will start the debate and take stability for it. Now to make the debate win, I need to add one city to the Congress. That's gonna be Philadelphia. I'm gonna pay one more of addition and the stability is ours. The ruler is random, we got 445 Mr. Cavendish, 37 years old. I'll be of course re-electing him. Losing plenty of meal points because of too many leaders. I don't need all of them. Mr. Lincoln, sorry. Mr. Green, sorry. Lee, sorry. Gates, sorry. And sorry, Mr. Wayne. Definitely Tadeusz Kościuszko is the one that we want to keep because some of you might already know that. Tadeusz Kościuszko was a Pole. He was a hero of the United States War of Independence and was also Polish War between second and third partition. Also, fun fact, there's a monument of Kościuszko vis-a-vis -vis White House Park where you can actually go and, and see that the two major battles that he was in, in the Polish War as well as in the American War, and we have the same monument one-to-one -one in Warsaw. Policies. On the policies, I take the trade efficiency, another trade efficiency, as well as additional merchant and regiment costs. I don't really have places to use all of these merchants, so just go and start transferring from places like Rio Grande, Mexico, as well as Panama. My only coins will be sent to Chiaja to start fixing the border. Now here is a lot of options. I'll just take the ones to increase the missionary strength so we will be able to convert all of these provinces that are left to Protestant. Advisors, I'll just go with level 1 advisors and we don't have that much money to take them, so I'm just gonna go for burgers, take the powerpoints, take the cheaper advisor as well as the 1% loans. So this way we can even get colonial range guy as well as the inflation guy. As first thing they would like to fight with us, let's just go and try. And I'm really counting to go, yes, and take over some ships this way. There we go, we captured two trade ships, so this way we might increase our income. But anyway, I'm not gonna wait even for all the enemies to come over here. I'll just go and start attacking the natives because we need to expand west. So one of the actual things that was the reason why United States declared the independence war because GB was blocking the expansion west on the natives. Let's see, that might be other ships that we can take over. So, so far Great Britain have lost 10 ships together with their allies while we keep getting more ships into our hands. If you are talking about the reasons for the independence war, of course, this topic is very long and we could talk about this for the whole video, <laughs> but I'm not that experience and I don't have time because I have to play EU4 for you. So besides the issue that American colonizers were blocked for going west, there was also more obvious reason which is just also stopping the internal growth by the new taxes, especially this after the seven years war, blocking the exports, uh, increasing duties on the imports from the British Isles, so everything that would give more money to the Great Britain and it decreased the money for the New World colonizers. Look, the British and the natives are working together in sitting down the middle of our country. I guess I'm just gonna go and wipe them all together. Oh, look, another fleet came over here to die. Hello there, Mr. Funland. Bye bye, Mr. Funland. And that's another four ships that we just captured from them. Oh my god. Now, the issue is this is fourth level nine, this is fourth level six. This is fort level 8, so Great Britain is really well protected by these forts. So instead of going after them, because we have like how much? 4,000 artillery. Instead of that, I'm just gonna go start carpet sieging Canada. Now that seems ahistorical, but France does not like us. Let me start improving relations with them, as well with Spain, in the long term to gather these alliances. The Committee of Safety, so I can get 
10 percent of armies why not new providence was just released and i need to attack them right away because i'm very sure they're gonna start raiding us in a second. What's the army? It's 6,000 and they actually have some heavy ships, but it should not be enough for this that they have currently. Looks like I'm gonna get engaged over here in just two days. Uh, I can increase it to three. I did not see this army coming, but I'm coming with a lot of... Oh, too late. I'm coming with a lot of troops on the force marsh to be able to defend over here and it's not looking good. It's not looking good, we're fucked up, guys. Run, fools. At least I can peace out the natives. And peace out on the natives. This is our prize, why do I have to take it? Do this, send the peace deal, and we'll be going west. Let's see how it will go right now. Yeah, of course, our army quality is way superior, so just destroying them. Just in the first time, they outnumbered me. They took me as for a surprise. Bye, bye, bye. Can I wipe them in the second try? I don't think so. I have too much. Yeah, uncar position with infantry, so Cav is my only part of the army. But it was still an easy one. Uh, I should also focus on Adbi because that's gonna be a lot of coring in our conquests. The creation of the Continental Army, that's something that we really need. That's a general and mill points. That's manpower mill points. Or that's Adbi... Yeah, I definitely need manpower. Oh look, Great Britain came. With no heavy ships, only transport ships. 11,000, they're gonna land in 14th of July. The question is if this fleet can get there before that. Yes. And imagine that they started running away from here. Oh, hello there, I found them. They were going just around the Bermuda. And yeah, this is where the British army is. You're not gonna move anywhere from here. A world without the pirates is a perfect war. No one is gonna raid us, so we're gonna increase our prosperity in all of these provinces. Did someone say fur trade? Kickstart the fur trade. That's a lot of goods produced in our provinces. I'm wondering what to take as a first one from the Church of United States. And I think I'm gonna focus on Republican tradition. I know it's a hundred, but very soon. We have a real election and actually let me accept the English culture. Is that a wipe on the British troops? Uh, why did they even try coming here? I mean, yeah, it's kind of reward score for us. Indeed, a real election is gonna give us what type of the power points? Meal points, I can't it for Arvin, but it's fine. And we're getting 1.4 Republican tradition yearly. Martha Washington, that's either diplomatic reputation or cheaper advisor for improved relations. I will go for the cheaper advisor. Because I want to death with the Diplo points in the near future. Oh look, we've got a 13 colonies in the south. A military reform indeed. Let me take... I don't actually know. We don't really need mill points that much. I'll go for the mix of Diplo and mill points. So both more of armies and more of navies as well as cheaper technologies. The Congress printing machine. Well, it's not 2022, right? I guess print more money. <laughs> I guess that's American solution to everything. Use with constraint or stop immediately. And honestly, I'll go for a stop immediately. Very non roleplay. Let's get out of this war. I'm gonna take war operations from Great Britain as well as plenty of provinces. So all the 13 colonies provinces around here, these two provinces here, and as much money as they're gonna accept. Thank you so much. Let's start coring, we need to clear these borders and this is why very soon you just start attacking these natives and if you got a mission which is American independence. Ah, and that's the first guarantee for which is gonna be the tax method because we are a republic. So instead of that we just go for the yearly republican tradition. That should also allow me to ally France, thank you so much. And almost Spain but not this time. France is the major ally here. I can also rival colonial nations. There's gonna be new Spain as well as the new Finland. Let's also start to stick into a flagship which is gonna be a light ship with trade power fleet. Fleet morale and fleet engagement with. Congress of the Confederation. Discuss the import duties. So there's no import duties. Definitely not against the Great Britain. Let's see. Accept the 5% duty on imports. That's less inflation but money. Or reject the proposed amendment. Of course I'm gonna reject the proposed amendment. A Boston Post Road. That's nice. There's a lot of events for United States. We can take Admin Mana. We can take Mill Mana. Or we can take the Diplomat. And I'll go for the Admin Mana because that's gonna be plenty of coring. And not that many natives left here. So I can start dealing with colonial nations. The thing in you for is, and I personally don't like it. When you're an independent nation in the new world, you can attack any colonial nation without calling their Overlords. So if right now I'm gonna attack Spanish Louisiana, 
albeit for only Spain and Louisiana. Not nor other colonies, not the overlord can help them in this case. And out of this whole expansion, we just became a great power. Well, of course, if USA is a great power, it has to be number one. When you're conquering colonial nations, also the worst caucus is like just one big joke. All of these promises, 10% war score, thank you so much. Expanding West. I'm not a Spanish expert, but wasn't it called Hispaniola historically? Not Isla Juana? I guess maybe it changed the name later. Anyway, Florida just got formed and I can go and attack them. It's really funny how the game is asking me to take my own promises in the peace deal and probably if I take them, I would have to pay for the quarry. Uh, we, we don't do that here. No, thank you. We just need to find this promise over here to take it. There it goes. Send the peace deal. Ay ay ay, we need more. In the Florida down, the border should be very close to perfection. Evacuation day, okay. A little bit more and it's gonna be perfect. My next issue in the Congress is gonna be focused on missionary, because we have plenty of provinces to convert, especially the totemist and Catholic nations that we just conquered. Something that it actually forgot to do so. Let's concentrate development in all of the provinces that we just conquered to increase development in our capital. Oh, so here is Ozarks. I've watched the TV series about it. Nice. Now our capital is having 17 development. That's something. And I'm gonna go and state all of these promises that we just got. Because we have plenty of governing capacity and we have plenty of admin mana. And I want to build up this country to make it as strong as possible. At the same time, the next government reform is gonna be focused on shorter elections. Why coring all of these promises? It's not even all of my money, it's just 500. Take a look that cap capacity is not even there and the autonomy in the provinces is fairly high. This is why I'm just gonna go and decrease it literally everywhere. This is also gonna help us increase our maximum absolutism. So now that's 13, our economy is almost 100, Force me 78 and maximum power 50,000. So this manpower is not gonna be enough to take care of all of these rebels. That's why we need a Merc stack. And I'm just gonna go take 18,000 of these troops because it's just 15 ducats monthly. We have two provinces, three provinces where we should have four provinces where we should have coal. To do that, I'm gonna develop them because otherwise they'll still never spawn. We need 20 development in this province. So I'm just going to start with my diploma mill points because this I have plenty and that's not a big of a problem. One of the final steps to finish this campaign is to go and take down the new Spain and again the overlord cannot do shit about that and I'm also gonna keep my power projection high thanks to it. They only have three forts and all of them on the level two or three. So one stack is gonna go straight to siege down the forts and this stack is gonna slowly occupy them because they still have plenty of troops. Let's see their army quality. Mew. Nice. This is guys just so funny. 31% of the world's and I can take all of this from the new Spain. I don't want to go too deep into Mexico. That would... I would like to go deep. Let's just take money on top of that and <laughs> that's better and better. Anyway, we're never stopping and of course California is gonna be American. Let's go and attack them. Wait a second, this is not Antios. That's the wrong place. Why Russia is the birth of the revolution? Why France is already revolutionary? And obviously all of these provinces are gonna be part of my state because we have capacity, we have admin mana, we just want to boost our country's economy and military. As we hit 1000 development, we are not only getting closer to Great Britain, but I can also become an empire. Union Fire Company, I can take 10 basement power in Philadelphia for just 600 ducats. I guess that's gonna be worth it, so now, right now Philadelphia is having 30 to development. It's all about creating just single natives all around the place to try to fix our borders as well as keep colonizing the amazing places all over here. I'll have to colonize this too as well probably and the borders should be very soon all good. Especially we send this kind of of a peace deal. This is hilarious, but Spain just declared imperialist war on Qing, but I guess that's a good choice. They are tech 22, current ones 20, probably even 9, or even 30. Why the main date is absolute zero. They should just get vanished out of the map. They are also bankrupt. Okay, <laughs> we should also do the same, but I don't have time. You know what? Let's do some American economy. So, I'm gonna take... We have 18 out of 95 loans. I'm just gonna take like... 
40 out of 95. Let's just take 30,000 of that. Oof, it's nothing, just 70 of interest. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spend all of that money, first of all, on a furnace, and second of all, on all of these manufacturers that we are having just waiting in our provinces to be invested. Inflation is just a number, debt is just a number, we are just gonna be too big to fail in this case. Battle hall, oh, that's gonna be so much money. There are absolutely no blockers in the expansion and spending 72 ducats on five different colonies across all of these provinces to keep the borders beautiful. Like look, Great Britain is not doing too well since we left them and even Ireland broke free. Ah, just before the plantations being done, a golden era for the United States. Oh boy, let's see how much of an actual increase of the income we can achieve. It's 159. I think there's a chance you can get over 200. I think even very easily. 160. Then manufacturers will finish. That's 223. But we need a month tick for our trading income to also update. Now that's 286. And even though I'm paying 84 interest, 74 colonial maintenance. I have a positive balance. But that's not the end. Look how much mana we have. How do? A couple of things. First of all, let's go and decrease autonomy wherever that's possible. And that's actually a lot of promises because this is everything that they conquered in the second stage of conquest, mainly against New Spain. Then as we have a lot of mana and I don't want to take the technologies ahead of time, let me just go to the states in the macro builder, state edicts, get the death cost edict in every single state now. And if burgers loyal, we can go and death the hell out of our <laughs> country. Let's first start with the Diplo points, and I'm just gonna go by the production value that we're gonna get. So start with the gold mines, then just go straight with all of these provinces. Change it again. Yes, we need more, 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 more. Oh, yes, 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 definitely. This way out of the Diplo points. Next step, <laughs> also to increase the manpower. And finally, Two things, admin mana is going to get rid of the inflation and then to death the hell out of provinces as well, but this doesn't really matter. And as you can see, I'm not going pro elo multiplayer death meta being so efficient, just spending this in the macro builder. So this way, our income is 320, but we need a month for it to update, our maximum price is 109,000 and full sum is 138. So that's in fact 337 and we are great power number 6. Most importantly, above Great Britain and if you take a look on the ledger, with the best economy in the world. So guys, I think this is perfectly safe United States with a huge boost to the first great power in terms of economy and this episode was mainly about that to show you how quickly you can expand west as the united states boost the economy and build up a very strong country so for today guys thanks so much for watching if you did enjoy this video you must leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to get notified about the future content